It is 2 p.m. Sunday, January 20th in American Samoa, and we are closely monitoring Tropical Cyclone 10P approaching from the northwest. Currently, based on the latest information from the U.S. Joint Typhoon Warning Center, maximum sustained winds are 35 knots, but those winds are forecast to increase to near 50 to 55 knots as it makes its closest approach to the islands. Slow strengthening is expected, but the good news this afternoon is that the visible satellite imagery reveals a very poorly defined center of circulation passing just to the north of Samoa. You can see some of the most recent convection trying to develop near that low-level surface circulation, although it's not doing a very good job as we can see here on the enhanced infrared loop, and that is due to very strong westerly winds aloft. The regional water vapor imagery shows a lot of convection across the South Pacific, but much of it remains confined to the monsoon trough to the north. And as the area of low pressure has tried to detach itself from the monsoon trough, it has struggled to generate convection of its own. Also, we're seeing a lot in the way of westerly vertical wind shear, and you can see a lot of the cloud tops that fire up near the center quickly being blown off toward the east. The latest wind shear analysis shows us that we have moderate westerly wind shear located near the center of the cyclone, as also denoted by the latest streamline analysis but the main axis of upper level ridging is located just to the north of the center of the circulation and just to the south of the upper level ridge is where the cyclone is found and that is the reason why we're seeing those westerly streamlines over top the tropical cyclone and that is resulting in vertical wind shear however as we turn to the color representation the westerly wind shear does lighten up a little bit toward the east and this is going to be the track of the storm so the tropical cyclone is likely to intensify at least somewhat as it makes its closest approach the latest zone forecast issued by the National Weather Service office in Pago Pago, American Samoa is calling for the worst weather conditions to occur over the easternmost islands, those including the Manua district, and you can see those winds are forecast to increase to near 55 to 70 miles per hour with higher gusts, especially as we head into Monday night. This is the latest ECMWF model depiction of the service conditions as we go from the initial time frame into the next 24 to 72 hours. You can see the model is correctly showing the center of circulation passing just to the north of Samoa and even Pago Pago, but we are expecting a gradual turn more so toward the southeast. Therefore, the easternmost islands are likely going to experience at least gale force winds and occasionally heavy rainfall. But the good news, unlike with Cyclone Evan, is that this is looking to be a much weaker cyclone and it's also going to be a much faster mover compared to Evan when, as you recall, it was nearly stationary over Samoa for at least one or two days. So the rainfall totals are going to be much less and we are not expecting anything in terms of major wind damage. Although this is not looking like a major cyclone landfall, all interests in that area are advised to keep up with the latest official information from the National Weather Service and your local emergency management offices and also follow the cyclone very closely over the next day or so as the forecast is always somewhat subject to change. For additional information, as always, you can stay tuned to 28storms.com slash cyclone, where we will have continuing updates on not only Tropical Cyclone 10P, but also the activity near Australia.